What's up, what's up everybody? Simon here. In this episode, we're gonna talk about getting the American Express Centurion card in 2023, if it is still possible. Before I get into this video, I always ask that you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Let's get into it. Okay, so very recently I had a referral, someone that I tried to refer for the American Express Centurion card. Now, if you have not seen my videos, go ahead and check out some of the Centurion videos I've done on my channel. However, is it possible to get the Amex Centurion card on a personal level in 2023? I will say the answer is no. American Express has put a hold on the Centurion request to restructure things that they have going on in terms of their travel, their concierge, and everything in between. So American Express Centurion currently is not approving any members that we are aware of. In fact, my personal concierge at American Express Centurion, shout out to you, you know who you are. Send me an email saying that currently all Centurion American Express memberships are put on hold probably for the remainder of the year and they are going to resume once they add the amex centurion request link on the centurion website on amex's website or that section of american express now if you're interested in the centurion card i have made videos on how to get the centurion card but in this video we're going to go into that further to talk about what they look for to get the centurion card we'll also talk about some of the benefits and what i like about it first and foremost you have to have the spend on your american express platinum if you don't have an american express platinum forget about getting the american express centurion from what i understand they also want you to have the american express platinum for several years it's not just something that you could sign up for and within seven months or a year really request a centurion card that's very rare american express likes to see loyalty to their program they like to see a lot of spend that you're offering with the american express platinum they like to see payment history high balances and they want to see that you're able to afford those balances before they formally send you a invite to the centurion credit card or charge card as far as spend goes this is something that we want to make sure we discuss american express wants you to spend over five hundred thousand dollars based on my experience of referring centurion clients now i've been able to get several centurion members uh, to get their card however i have seen amex request spend they want to see spend and typically the clients that are truly considered for the centurion card i've seen them spend around 700 or so thousand dollars on their american express platinum now the question comes up can i spend my business expenses on a personal card well that's between you and your cpa and you should check with your advisor however if you do spend your business expenses all on your personal that will still qualify you for the centurion card what you do with the taxes or how you manage to pay back the business and so forth or vice versa that's between you and your cpa so american express does not di differentiate whether your expenses are for a car a house a boat or lunches dinners business expenses etc they look for total spend so if your total spend is meeting their goal guess what you're in luck and they're going to be able to potentially approve you and when it comes down to spend it is truly important that you go ahead and let american express know that you're a great spender you also want to make sure american express sees that you pay off your bills on time you prepay your bills you keep those balances low when necessary they also want to see that you could carry a high balance for example if you're averaging fifteen thousand dollars on a bill they want to see that you could get up to thirty thousand forty thousand dollars and not have an issue with paying that down but they do look for history they do look for spend the next thing american express looks for now it seems like is who you are as an individual it seems like they are going more persona based with the people that they bring into the program so if you are someone that 
is well known on social media. That doesn't mean you're going to get the Centurion card, but if you're a celebrity or someone with clout, that may give you a better chance of being approved versus someone that just sold their company and that may not have any type of clout. I do believe they look at that. I do believe they do more research in approving someone today than they have in the past. Let's talk about credit score. If you have a below 750 credit score or 740, I would say that American Express Centurion would most likely not approve you for the Centurion card. Now, this is not certain. However, this is my understanding as they look for people with excellent credit with excellent spending history. So if your credit score is in the 680s and you're applying for the Amex Centurion card, good luck. It's probably not going to happen. And the reason being is American Express Centurion tends to have high balances on the spend. And if you're not putting out the high balance for Centurion, well, guess what? You're most likely not going to be considered. One question I often get is, does it help having a JP Morgan Reserve card, a Royal Dubai card, or any of these prestigious cards out there? And we're not talking Chase Sapphire Reserve, which is a great card, but it's not on the level of the Centurion where JP Morgan Reserve, formerly known as the Palladium card, is kind of on that level although I think it's still below the Amex Centurion, which to me is king, is that card going to help you get another card? And the truth is, no, it doesn't matter. They're different financial institutions and throwing out saying that, well, I'm a JP Morgan Reserve member, therefore I should have it, will get you nowhere. I don't think Amex considers that at all at this time. Now, some of the benefits as to why you want the Centurion card, simply you're part of a, a group or a collective. It's almost being like part of a, a very prestigious golf club, uh, social club, etc. That's one factor that never gets discussed by American Express because it's not a true benefit of the card. And tend to stick. However, I do find that membership to be very rewarding where you're rubbing elbows with people that are generally successful in business together. However, there is something anonymous about the card. Not all members know each other. There are social events for members, but we haven't seen those locally here in the Bay Area. They tend to have them in New York, maybe in LA and other places. So I would like to see more social meetups with Centurion members and I want to see American Express put that forward. Let's talk about some of the other benefits. Travel is a big benefit with American Express, although the Amex Platinum card gives you a very good travel option. They even give you five to one points at certain uh, destinations. And when you book on AmexTravel.com or even directly with the airlines and hotels. So that is a perk that's great, but is it going to give you a better benefit than the Amex Platinum? Not necessarily. The concierge for American Express Centurion is definitely better than the concierge for the Amex Platinum, even though across my 10 years, I've seen them cross between the two. Overall, the Centurion uh, team is basically made up of a group of people that handle a, a general population of Centurion members. So let's say a group of 10 Centurion representatives may handle a uh, 100 members or whatever it may be. I don't think it is a 100 members. I think it's a little bit more, to be honest with you. It's closer to 200 based on my experiences from what I've heard. However, they do an excellent, and I mean excellent job, of making you feel special. Nice. And not one of the many that they handle. They take care of you. They make sure they remember important dates. I really truly believe that they create a profile on you that is very similar to a, a character that they know everything about you, your likes, dislikes, points of travel, times of travel, and so forth. And with AI getting more advanced, I would imagine that now they're getting even more help with understanding the customer. As far as some of the benefits for perks, one thing about lounges and Centurion cards is you get a reserve reservation spot or a reserve spot without paying additional. You could also bring in members additionally without meeting any limits. For example, in my Amex Platinum business, Business for my business, the Travelers Agency. You could just check us out at flightslux.com. We specialize in first class and business class travel and luxury hotels. That company has done a certain amount of volume in a certain amount of period of time. I believe it's $100,000, correct me if I'm wrong, in six months. And when our spend has reached their required limit, I was then able to bring in a guest. 
into a lounge without paying additional money. With Centurion, you could bring in guests into the lounge, typically another guest and your family or children. You're also able to get a reserved seat in case there are no seats available. And guess what? Centurion and lounges, no stranger to being packed lately. With everyone traveling, it is more difficult to get a seat in these places than ever before. Amex Centurion also offers quite a lot of variety in terms of some luxurious services. They do give you an Equinox gym membership, which I use. Oh my God! Wow! And love. This is a membership where you're pretty much covered on their global basis. You could go to any Equinox out there. Typically, it's a pretty hefty fee. It's around $3,400 or so a year annually to be able to have this membership where you're able to access any gym while you're traveling anywhere. That's a great benefit. There are other benefits, including some private airport lounges at LAX. You have little credits that they give here and there, including travel credits. A big one is a Saks Fifth Avenue credit, which is $1,000 split up into $250 every quarter. My wife tends to use that a lot. I've used it a few times as well. This new shirt is not from Saks Fifth Avenue, but it is a great benefit and I think something that Amex offers as well. So to get back to it, how do you get a Centurion card? Simply keep spending on Platinum right now. Wait for that link to pop up, then request it, and hopefully you're one of the many considered. However, if you have recommendation from valued members such as myself and others out there, that gives you an opportunity to probably be more considered than just filling out a quote form and hoping that Amex sees you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit a like button, subscribe. If you know anything about Amex, uh, kind of putting a pause on their Centurion program membership invitees or acceptance, comment below, let me know, and I'll check you guys here in the next video. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Also, check out the Ideal Hour podcast, a podcast I launched recently on the Ideal Hour channel. We will be showing some clips of that podcast on this channel. However, if you're interested to hear about my experiences and the guests, check out the Ideal Hour. I appreciate it. See you guys next time.